Merry Christmas. Hope you had a great day with loved ones and uh, a good feast and feel well rested and recharged and ready to hit the ground running for a good week. Um, this is a really, really important week of the program. It's where most do drop the ball. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to get a competitive edge and um, yeah, really separate yourself from your competition by getting in quality training. We're going to kick the week off with a real easy feel-good session. Wednesday, we'll take it up uh, to another solid session and then Friday bigger again so we're getting that quality um, recovery from Christmas Eve session which was um, a solid session so we want to make sure we accommodate that or also just to get out of the the holiday mode a little bit um, the festive mode where we can feel a little bit um, lethargic sitting around all day eating drinking um, today's session is more a bit of a flush um, so to get your, your body active again and get yourself going again um, not a great day for a, a massive session. So it's really just to recover from Christmas Eve session, but then also um, get ourselves ready for some quality training on Wednesday and, and Friday. We'll, we'll go straight into it. The strength session is the main focus of today as well. So make sure you, you do this session close to the gym and you can get the gym done straight after your legs uh, with the running. So we'll start with just a five minute jog. Uh, break it up as much as you like, like 30 seconds on, 15 seconds walk, or 30 second run, 15 seconds jog, however, whatever feels best for you. We don't need to be doing any high speed efforts today because it's all just aerobic, um, slow pace running. And then four minutes of mobility, do some um, work through the lower back, um, do some work through the hamstrings, hip flexors, just get the whole body ready to go for, for the session. Footy fart leg, so you'll notice there's a lot more football program, programmed into the conditioning program. That's uh, for a couple of reasons. Most importantly, obviously, to keep your touch. So when we get back into football training, um, the group's still at a good stand and the drills and the and the basic skills, the fundamentals are still in check. But also from a injury prevention point of view, we want to make sure we're getting in all your different types of kicks over the Christmas. Um, so at least once a week, practicing long kicking, particularly your forwards, make sure you're getting some goal kicking in. Um, and then for uh, you know, kicking it at speed as well, so running uh, at, a, at a faster pace than doing your kicking, um, all your different types of snaps and different angle kicks. Um, so the more that we can try and replicate what you would be doing in football training, the better you'll transition into the drills in the new year. And obviously January, February is our biggest session. So we want a biggest uh, training load of the year. So we want to make sure we're cherry ripe, ready to go. The way this works is you, you have ideally at least one partner. Um, if you can get in the habit of training groups over Christmas, it'll definitely improve the quality of training. So for this one, you need a minimum of one. You basically start on the wing, kick to that partner. They're just, sta they're just stationary. Then you build up to a stride pace, receive a handball, and then a long running goal kick. If they're training with you, they would then do the same thing. So you um, change over rolls and then complete the lap jog and we do that three times. The 10 minute feel good aerobic jog. This is something that is up to you how you want to break it up. Ultimately we just want to leave the session with more energy than how you started. So if that means doing like a fart leg type block, um, like you might do 50, 10, 40, 20, 30, 15. Um, some of you might want to do like a Tabata for a period of time. Um, you might just want to go for a 10 minute jog outdoors for those that are away. Um, so break it up as much as you like and it can be a steady state run or it can be an interval based run. So whatever feels best for your body. And then we go straight into our lower body strength. Thanks guys. Remember to reach out if you have any questions.